Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Fisher's reaction from my perspective. Obviously today we found out in the Premier League who's playing who at the Pacific Times. First time I've actually looked at these, so guys, anyway, you know what to do, give us a like, big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first sort of Premier League fixtures, um, well, Man United and Pan Burnley and Manchester City and Octane Villa on the opening day. I don't know why, now it's just my opinion, why Aston Villa don't play Burnley on the opening day and then when they're supposed to play each other, do these fixtures because of the way that, you know, Villa and Burnley are going to be a game behind till this game gets played. I think that they should really play Burnley versus Villa and then just pretend that Manchester Derby's been postponed. But anyway, the other fixtures, Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Okay, that could be an interesting game. Crystal Palace at home as well. Selhurst Park. It could be an interesting game. I mean, Southampton didn't have the worst of finishes today. I think they have one of the best finishes, in my opinion, of the end of the 1920 season. Southampton, very much a dark horse for next season, the way I'm thinking at this point in time. Anyway, Fulham at home to Arsenal, open day. Welcome back to the Premier League Fulham Football Club. Uh, after winning the playoffs in, in the most, obviously, as I said, going up against Arsenal on opening day at Craver Cottage, that could be a big key for Fulham to either get something out of that game, really. Um, I think Arsenal won something like the last five out of seven games, something like that, if I remember rightly. Liverpool got leagues at home, welcome to the Premier League, Leagues United. Uh, yeah, I can roughly see that only going one way, but you're going to have to wait for my Premier League predictions to actually see what I think about these fixtures as well. But I'm just giving you my reactions to them at this point in time. Manchester City, as I said, not playing, but I suppose we're going uh, at home to Villa. There, that could be an interesting game. Tottenham go, uh, I've got Everton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham. I think I really have got finished at the top four this season. And obviously you've still got my Premier League table still to come. West Brom, welcome back to the Premier League. Going up against Leicester at home at the Hawthorns. Ground I've been to myself. And not a bad ground if I'm at, honest up at West Brom. But going up against Leicester, that could be quite an interesting game as well. Also, West Ham go up against Newcastle at the London Stadium. Now, this game could have a bit of a twist in it. Obviously, it's still got a load of pre-season to come as well. Brighton go up against Chelsea at the Amex. Very much a game I'd like to see there in person. Obviously, if you don't know where I'm from. And so I support. But obviously, due to the pandemic, you might not be able to see that game. It, it all goes like in a hat. Whether we get a chance to go watch actual Games at the Amex this season, for the start of the season anyway. But going up against a very good Chelsea side. Uh, I think Fred Lampard's done a great job there. You may have heard me say that more than once. Sheffield United go up against Wolverhampton. And that completes the uh, opening weekend for the 2020-21 Premier League season. Sheffield United are yet again a team that have got to... Basically, this is more like a... Champions League game, Europa League game between Sheffield United and Wolverhampton and that's only because of the, you know, where both clubs have basically finished up within the Sheffield United last season, Wolverhampton the season before but Wolverhampton were very unlucky to miss out on Europe. Then we're going to week two, Arsenal go up against West Ham, <laughs> that could be an interesting game, I was just sitting there thinking about it. Aston Villa go up against Sheffield United. Chelsea, see, so Aston Villa really have got a Sheffield United for their first game. And that could be quite an interesting test for Aston Villa. Chelsea-Liverpool, that's going to be a good game, I can tell you that already. Everton versus West Brom, yeah, could have a twist in that one at this point in time. Then Leeds go to promotion, uh, team Fulham, uh, sorry, Fulham go to Leeds. 
and both promotional teams from the championship, obviously. That one could be quite an interesting game. It'd be interesting to see whether that gets TV coverage or not. Leicester go to uh, Leicester got Burnley, yet again Burnley, first Premier League game of the 2020-21 season. With the likes of that happening with Burnley, that extra game for Leicester could help them a bit more. Manchester United have got Crystal Palace at Old Trafford, the fit of dreams. Yeah, that was quite an interesting fixture last season, wasn't it? But that happens quite early on. Then Newcastle play Brighton up at St James's Park, which is... Yeah, again, a great ground I've been to myself quite a few. Uh, sorry, I've been there once. Uh, but, you know, you know, very good ground. Uh, very under the radar, Newcastle, I think, for anything like, like last season. Southampton then goes to Tottenham. And then Wolverhampton... No, sorry, Southampton play Tottenham at St Mary's. Wolverhampton play Man City at Molyneux. Uh, yeah, that could be quite an interesting game as well. I'm just going to go through week three and then I'm going to look, out for, look for some of the big fixtures. Brighton play Man United at the MX. Burnley play Southampton at Turf Moor. Crystal Palace play Everton at Southwest Park. Fulham play Villa at Craven Cottage. Liverpool play Arsenal at Anfield. Probably a TV game right there, Arsenal and Liverpool. Manchester City go up against Leicester at the Etihad. Sheffield United play Leeds United at, Brum at Sheffield United, just like that, that's easier. Uh, Tottenham go up against Newcastle, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. West Brom against Chelsea at the Hawthorns. West Ham play Wolverhampton Wanderers at the London Stadium. Right, let's go look for some of the big fixtures. May night, Tottenham, week four at Old Trafford. Jason Mourinho returns back to one of his old clubs. Crystal Palace versus Brighton, 17th of October. Now, to me, I don't call that a derby. I could see some of you, you know, putting your comments in already. I really don't call that a derby. For me to be a derby, there's got to be a slight connection. For example, if you look at, I don't know, Man United Leeds, they're just up the road. I've been to Liverpool and I think we had to actually go past Leeds to get up to Liverpool. Everton versus Liverpool on that weekend. Yeah, again, Mercer Derby, it's got a big connection, just that you park a part of things that worked out about mile and a half. Manchester City, Arsenal as well, also in week four. Manchester City and Arsenal. I don't call that a derby either, I call that a really big game between two big clubs. Newcastle versus Man United. Yeah, again, I don't call that a derby, I call that a good game with two good teams that always had that animosity towards each other. Tottenham vs West Ham, obviously a London derby. West Brom vs Burnley. Aston Villa got leagues on week 5. Now, with the likes of that, eh, it's not even a derby because Aston Villa based at Birmingham. And derby on week 5 as well between Fulham and Crystal Palace. Man United Chelsea. Yeah, again, that's not a derby. That's just a big game. I don't get it where, you know, because it's a big game, people call it a derby. I don't get that at all. Man United Arsenal. At Old Trafford, 31st of October, due to be played, obviously might be moved due to cup football and TV coverage. Crystal Palace versus Leeds at Southwest Park, 7th of November. Yeah, again, not two clubs that, you know, do have that fierce rivalry, but yet again, I don't call it a derby, obviously too far apart. Man United Everton, yet again, these two clubs are literally, one's based in Liverpool, one's based in Manchester. It's about half hour drive to Liverpool to Manchester or Manchester to Liverpool, I think. I don't think it's that far apart. But, you know, you've got that to do with as well. The same weekend, Manchester City played Liverpool at the Etihad. It's a really big game. And that's all due to take place on the 7th of November. Obviously, some of these games will be moved to TV coverage and so on. Aston Villa played Brighton on the 21st of November. I know it's not really a big game. But it did really have, you know, that game always does have circumstances for the likes of Brighton fans know what I'm on about, so do Villa fans, I ain't going to say why, but you probably do know why it's got big circumstances. Tottenham play Man City on that weekend on the 21st at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Brighton play Liverpool on the 28th of November. There's a, there, are, there are some big games here as well. Southampton Man United... That could be quite an interesting game. Then you got Chelsea versus Leagues, 5th of December. Been to Stamford Bridge last season, I think it was. 
great ground. When it's one of them old fashioned grounds, you're all so tightly in. But obviously, that ain't going to be the case for this season. West Ham versus Man United yet again, another big game. A big game on the likes of what, you know, but both parts could cancel each other out and it's one of them things. Liverpool versus Tottenham on the 16th of December. Obviously, that being probably moved. That's a Wednesday night. Because obviously our, fi our fixtures are so tight this year to get ready for a year like 2021, hopefully it goes ahead. We really have got a uh, you know, tight fixture list. Monday, Tuesday, Christmas time, I think it roughly happens anyway. But Liverpool got Tottenham. I'll just go through these fixtures quickly. Arsenal, Southampton, Aston Villa, Burnley, Fulham, Brighton, Leeds, Newcastle, Leicester, Everton, Sheffield United, Man United, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Wolverhampton, Chelsea, and Manchester City have got West Brom at the Etihad Stadium. Bit of a derby here. I'm not sure how big of a derby it is. I know both clubs are close. West Brom versus Phil on the 19th of December due to take place. Obviously, and probably will be moved. Arsenal, Aston Villa, Europa League spot. Probably coverage there with the likes of, you know, how both teams are doing at this present in time. 26th of December, Boxing Day. Day we all spend with our families, or some of us do. I'm like, you know, we would like to go to football on Boxing Day, but probably won't happen this year. But Arsenal got Chelsea, big London derby. Aston Villa got Crystal Palace. Fulham got Southampton. Leeds United got Burnley. Leicester, Man United. U uh, sorry, Liverpool, West Bromwich Albion. Manchester City, Newcastle. Yet again, could be a really interesting game between Manchester City and Newcastle. Sheffield United, Everton. West Ham, Brighton. Lon London Stadium for Brighton. And I know for the likes of fact, we have had a time up at London Stadium. Last year, Last season, I think it finished a free all draw after West Ham going 2 0 up. And the other two occasions, one game we should have won after going 2 0 up, and I think it finished 2 2. And the other one we won 3 0. So that could be an interesting game on Boxing Day. Wolverhampton to Tottenham, they play again on Monday the 28th. Brighton got Arsenal now for us Brighton fans. You all know that we've got six points against Arsenal. And if you did watch the game, which was Live on telly, obviously due to the pandemic, you could have learnt that we've got that sort of bit of fierce tension between us two because of what happened to Burton. And I know, obviously, if you watched my Premier League predictions at the time, you would have heard me say that I don't think it was a red card. I thought, I think he got boots, and I think that would have been a fair result. Burnley got Sheffield United, Chelsea got Aston Villa, Crystal Palace got Leicester. Everton, Manchester City, yeah, again, could be a really good game. Main like Wolverhampton, two, you know, really good teams coming up here. Newcastle, Liverpool, Southampton, West Ham, Tottenham, Fulham, West Brom, Jabion, and Leeds United. Then we go into the new year. Now, these are the new, it's not New Year's Day because it's not the first, but it's on the second. Brighton go up against Wolverhampton, Burnley, Fulham. Chelsea, Man City, really big game there. I think uh, Man City won both games last season. Crystal Palace, Sheffield United, Everton, West Ham, Man United, Villa, Newcastle, Leicester, Southampton, Liverpool, Tottenham League. So Leeds have got a really tough trip to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. West Brom, Javion, Arsenal. Then on the 12th, Big game between Arsenal and Crystal Palace at the Emirates Stadium. Obviously, London Derby. Fulham goes to United as well on the 12th. Southampton go to Ellen Road on the 12th also. On the 13th, Liverpool got Burnley. Main City got Brighton at the Etihad Stadium. Now, we've also had the, not the best of times at the Etihad Stadium. Last season, really gave them a go though and just failed in certain uh, places in the field of play, but yeah, again, could be a really good game between both clubs. 16th leagues against Brighton at Ellen Road. That could be a really good game between leagues and Brighton. Uh, you know, it's one of them things, I think, but as I said, I think it'd be a good game. London Derby also between Fulham versus Chelsea. 
Arsenal got Newcastle, Wolverhampton play at home to West Brom. A big derby there between both clubs. And I've been to both grounds actually. I went to West Brom the last time I were in the Premier League. And I went to Wolverhampton, not the season bright got promoted, but the season before. Nil nil scoreline, we missed the penalty, we move on. But yeah, both good grounds. Both grounds I really do rate. If you want to see a stadium rating for the 2021 Premier League season stadiums, put it down in the comments below and I'll do that for you also. On the 26th of January, Brighton play Fulham. Now, Brighton and Fulham always got that strong connection. I think it's Fulham. We confirmed our promotion. I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure on that. But, obviously, Anthony Knock right now plays for Fulham. used to play for Brighton. And Fulham are really that friendly club. If you haven't been to Fulham, I do a far on going if it's possible. Because it's such a nice club. Such a nice family club as well. Uh, you know, they got the little cottage and you know, when we played when we played Fulham up there, I think it's when we were back in the championship again. But we sat uh, there's a park right next door to Fulham Football Club. Nice day. Me and my dad do like playing so I think there was the channel and that's all we've done. We sat there, ate some chips and just watched the planes come into Heathrow. As I said, you get Fulham away. If the government said, you know, they're starting to let Wave fans in or the clubs or whatever way they're going to go about it, please do try and get tickets for Fulham. I really do rate that away day. I definitely would do it again. Man United, Sheffield United also on the 26th. Newcastle, go, Newcastle got Leeds on the 27th of Jan, uh, January. Southampton Arsenal on the 27th. Tottenham Liverpool on the 27th also. Big London Derby again, Crystal Palace versus West Ham on the 27th at Selhurst Park. On the 30th, Arsenal got Man United at the Emirates Stadium, Brighton play Tottenham, Chelsea play Burnley, Crystal Palace play Wolverhampton, Everton, Newcastle. Mm, that's got to be an interesting game because we've got one already. Leicester, Leeds United, Manchester City, Sheffield United, Southampton, Villa, West Bromwich Albion, Fulham. West Ham versus Liverpool at the London Stadium. I'm just going to see if I can find any more big fixtures. Wolverhampton, Arsenal on the 2nd of February. That could be a big game for yet again your Europa League spaces. And Chelsea on the 3rd of February. Yet again, big London derby. Brighton go to Anfield on the 3rd of February. Also 8 o'clock kickoff. Probably change. Probably a kickoff time. But I don't think... And if we can we change with that. Could possibly get TV coverage, but obviously we're a long way off from that at this present in time. Liverpool got Man City on the 6th of February. A big rivalry there between both clubs after the uh, title went to Liverpool last season. And Man City was so far off. It could be slightly interesting. Also, Manchester United play Everton at Old Trafford. Now, yet again, Man United... Everton got a sort of big bit of rivalry. Uh, probably to call it a derby because, as I said, they're only like literally half hour away. I think from here to Crystal Palace, it works about an hour and a half drive. It just works. We come up with the M23 derby, and you know, people call it a derby, and obviously, we're free to do so, but I don't. But that's what we call it anyway. And if you want to know about the rivalry, literally, you have to go way back, even before I was born. I didn't realise how the rivalry really started. Obviously, I've had to do my own homework on that as well. Tottenham go to West Brom. Uh, sorry, top, West Brom go to Tottenham. Wolverhampton play Leicester at Molyneux. I'm just seeing if there's any big fixtures on the 13th of February. Man City, Tottenham. Yeah, like, yeah, that's going to be quite a good game, I think. Uh, could be probably a bit easier for Tottenham. On the 20th of February, Arsenal play Man City at, at the Emirates Stadium. Brighton Crystal Palace on the 20th of February. Now, I spoke about this earlier in this video. I, it's, it's a fierce rivalry between the two clubs, put it that way. But, you know, it, it's a fierce rivalry between the two clubs, but... 
I don't call it Rover, I know it's not cool. Oh, sorry, I do call it Rover, I don't call it a Derby, that's it. Um, but if you're wondering why I do call the likes of Southampton and Brighton a Derby, it's because we're both based on the South Coast, but I just don't. But anyway, please feel free to put, put it down in the comments below, especially if you're a Brighton and Palace fan. Do you call it a Derby or not? Or do you just call it, like me, a big rivalry between the two clubs? It is an interesting rivalry, I'll give you that. But, you know, go do your own homework if you really want to find out. It's not me being rude, it's just me trying to save time for you guys as well. Uh, also on the 20th of February, you've got Liverpool versus Everton. Obviously a big Merseyside derby. Then you've got Main United Newcastle. Obviously there's that bit of rivalry between the two clubs. Always come up with a good game. Leagues go to Molyneux. As I've said, been to Molyneux. And I've also just seen a London derby between West Ham United and Tottenham Hotspur. Yet again, a very big game with them indeed. Could probably be a shock in that one, but obviously my Premier League predictions nearer the time we know more. On the 27th of February, Chelsea play Man United at Stamford Bridge. Crystal Palace play Fulham at Selhurst Park. I'm just seeing if there's any more big games here. No, not really. Brighton return to the Hawthorns. As I said last time, I've been there once. Yeah, again, if you do get a chance to go, please, you know, do go to West Brom. I've been to, I think, I've been to set from maybe four of these grounds I may not have been to myself. But, you know, I do hear things about stadiums, obviously, talking to fans. Aston Villa versus Wolverhampton Wanderers at Villa Park on the 6th of March. Liverpool go to Anfield on the 6th of March. Big Manchester derby due to take place on the 6th of March. Manchester City vs Man United at the Etihad Stadium. Most probably be changed. As well as the London derby, Tottenham Hotspur to Crystal Palace. And West Ham play Leeds United at home. So it's at London Stadium. On the 13th of March, a big North London derby between Arsenal and Tottenham will take place at the uh, Emirates Stadium. Nearly forgot the name just there for a minute. I'm just seeing if there's any more big games here. May night play West Ham Old Trafford. It's not really a big game, but does always, you know, give something tasty in that game. 20th of March, Brighton go to, uh, sorry, Newcastle come to Brighton. Yet again, Newcastle is another ground I've been to. Weren't really a lot of time to look around up there. Uh, I did drive, well, I didn't drive because I can't drive, but a friend took us up there. I think we left here in Brighton about half eight. And I think it's a three o'clock kickoff. Didn't get back till two in the morning because there was a road closed off. And so, you know, it's a big journey there and back in one day, but you got to do it. Please stay overnight. Probably the best way to do it anyway. Man City play Wolves also. Tottenham play Southampton at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. West Ham play Arsenal at the London Stadium. Yet again, a bit of a, well, a London derby there also. 3rd of April, Arsenal play Liverpool at the Emirates Stadium. So I just thought Arsenal had two home games in a row there. I know it will happen in this calendar, it always does. United play Brighton at Old Trafford. Now, we, I don't think we've actually won at Old Trafford, but, you know, we've always had a good go. Crystal Palace play Chelsea at Selhurst Park on the 10th of April, so, you know, that's not too bad either. Uh, London Derby there. I just really, when you sit here and look at things, you realise how many clubs are in London, even in the Premier League. Tottenham Hotspur play Man United at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium also. 17th of April, Arsenal will play Fulham at the Emirates Stadium. Chelsea play Brighton at Stamford Bridge. I'm just trying to look out for the big fixtures. 24th of April, Arsenal play Everton at the Emirates Stadium. So at this in it probably will change due to cup football and everything else involved. But Arsenal got two home games on the spin there. London Derby also on the 24th. West Ham against Chelsea. First of May, coming towards the end of the season now. Brighton versus Leagues at the MX Stadium. 
Also, big London Derby between Chelsea and Fulham will take place on the 1st of May. And United Liverpool, obviously a big rivalry and we'll call it a derby or not, I do because obviously I was blamed earlier in this video, why well, I do. Southampton Leicester, West Brom versus Wolverhampton on the 1st of May, obviously a big derby there. I know it's literally walking distance, I think, between Villa, uh, Wolverhampton and West Brom. Not 100% sure now. I know there's two, uh, two of the clowns really close to each other. 8th of May, Man City play Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium. Wolverhampton play Brighton at Molyneux at the, on the 8th of May. Hopefully, around this time, hopefully around the new year, so it's how we'll be able to get to some sort of normality with the likes of getting fans back in. I really would not like to see the season, you know, what we're basically doing, where it's about 9,000 at a time gets picked out of the hat and get their chance to go watch the game. I don't want it to be like that coming in this season, but, you know, we can't predict the future ourselves. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Chelsea play Arsenal on the 12th of May. Crystal Palace Arsenal at South House Park on the 15th of May as well also. So, you know... Fulham goes to Old Trafford also on the 15th of May. 23rd of May, so last games of the season. Arsenal played Brighton at the Emirates Stadium. Got six points off of Arsenal last season. Uh, very much, you know, two happy days for the Bright Brighton fans there. And I was very happy when pretty much it wasn't actually that game itself, but when we beat Arsenal at the MX Stadium. It very much kept us up, but I think we needed about six more points and we got them obviously. Arsenal play, uh, sorry, Aston Villa played Chelsea at Villa Park. Fulham play Ucarter Rock over Cottage. Leagues play West Brom at Eden Road. Leicester play Tottenham at the King Power Stadium. Liverpool play Crystal Palace at Anfield. Manchester City play Everton at the Etihad. And Sheffield United at Brum, Brummel Lane, hope I've pronounced that correctly, apologies if I haven't, play Burnley. West Ham play Southampton at London Stadium and Wolverhampton play Manchester United at Molyneux. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my fixture reaction video. Guys, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheerfully.